In our kill side, we have this super awesome room where we get to do all of our dentals. So you see we have four tables. We've got them all set up here where we can do multiple dentals at a time, which is super cool. So I wanted to kind of just talk about our equipment. So again, we have our anesthesia machine. We've got a bag or two, make sure SIVO, we've got oxygen. We have um, this, so where our surgeon and um, we can put down kind of our instruments here. And then we have our wet table where this is where we'll uh, place our dog. Um, then we have all of our monitoring equipment up there. We have a heating pad under here. Then we have a bear hugger to put on top. Then we have our fluids as well. Um, and then here's our actual dental machine. Um, so this is where all of our little uh, instruments are to clean. So we have a drill and then um, we have a scaler and then our water and air. Guys, here we got uh, Captain America, a two-year-old Great Pyrenees mix, and he's also the cutest dog in the world. <laughs> he's actually my dog. But we're doing the same um, induction as what we did uh, for our spay. So we're administering the propofol right now, and then we're going to uh, place his tube. We're going to begin uh, Captain's dental cleaning here. So first thing we want to do is chart all the teeth um, and look for anything. And then this is Miss Holly, and she's going to talk with y'all about what she's finding and what she's looking for. All right, so on Captain, the teeth are going to go 100s, 200s, 300s, 400s. So it makes a C. Um, so we're on the 2 and 300 side right now, starting right here. This is 101, 102, 103. So we'll go, I mean, sorry, 201, 202, 203, and we'll go back this way. We'll see this little bit of tartar right here. We tart calculus by light, medium, or heavy. This would be considered light calculus. I would consider this medium calculus. Um, and then heavy calculus would obviously be a lot more than that. Um, we'll just continue charting. On this chart, it's a little confusing just because the left side's on opposite sides and the right side's on opposite sides. Well, every chart's going to be like that. Okay. These teeth back here, even though you can see the calculus, I would still consider those light. All right. You just want to make sure your scaler has water in it and that it's working properly. So whenever you go to the teeth, you want to get right on the gum line. Make sure you get a little bit under so you get that tartar out and get in the grooves of the teeth. Just kind of scale down from there. This one, you will notice I'm getting that tartar off like that. Then I'll go under the gum line and then just kind of down the tooth. the first side of his mouth. So we're going to start with our dental x-rays. She has the probe in his mouth ready to go and then she does have the dental gun on um, ready to take our x-rays and she is wearing PPE to protect herself. So dental x-rays can be a little difficult. You have to learn to get the right angles. Um, but yeah, we're just starting with the first, first side of the mouth first. Okay, so whenever you angle your probe, um, for dogs that are much smaller than Captain. I usually have the probe angled like this for the incisors, but because his incisors are so wide and his mouth is wide, I have to angle it this way so I can get all the teeth in one shot. Um, I like to take as few shots as possible, so whenever you angle this, you want the flat side of the probe on the teeth, and you want to angle this part of the gun flat with the probe. So just parallel to the probe like that. Now with air only, I'm going to lift out the fluoride. 